The fact of evolution is, is uncontroversial. I mean, whether you like it or not, we're cousins of chimpanzees, we're slightly more distant cousins of monkeys. There's no evidence of evolution from one species to another. There's microevolution within a species, but not going from one species to another. Oh, really? And actually, yeah. you're, you're, the way you frame this and mm. your very closed-mindedness mm -hmm. uh, really is a very good example of the kind of uh, censorship we see within the scientific yes. community yes. that won't even allow discussion about the controversy that says uh, that we can't even discuss uh, any evidence that might show that evolution is questionable. Right. Where did you study science? Everyone knows it's windy. Reptiles never stop growing. It's a simple fact. Most reptiles never stop growing. They grow all their life. What would happen to a reptile if you put him in the Garden of Eden and let him live to be 900 years old? You'd have a big lizard. A really big lizard. Dinosaurs were big lizards that lived with Adam and Eve before the flood came. You can get these Jackson chameleons right now at the pet store. What's he going to look like at about 15 tons? Probably some kind of triceratops. If you ask me why I believe in the Bible and I flip open the Bible and show you a verse, you say you're appealing to what you need to prove. If I ask you why do you believe in reason and give well, me a reason, I'll tell you, then well, you open uh, your you please. open your book, no, you I, open the reason, yeah, and you give me a reason. No, no, you, you again, you're making a huge leap. I say, I say that the Bible, like the Quran and like the Torah, is man-made, not God-made. It's a it's a it's a human-made literary accretion full of plagiarism, contradiction fragmentation and so on. It's like every other book ever written. And I There's nothing divine about it and the, the appeal to, to it saying, I can trump anything you say because here's God's word on the page is a contemptible way of arguing. I, I wrote a logic textbook. Does that make logic man-made? Uh, logic is man-made, yes. Life is a self-replicating process. Yeah, and you know what? You get to tell that lie to God right before he picks you up by your scruffy neck and drop kicks your rebellious ass into hell. The reason that we have iPhones is because um, we actually developed this thing called scientific naturalism. Okay, we, scientific we don't, we're not interested in listening to you. Do you have questions for us? But don't keep sidetracking with your speeches or we're done. I'm not kidding you. You got nothing to value for us. We got the word of life, the bread of life, the only hope yes. for this g generation and world. You can get some you words from us. We're no more words from you, little okay. boy. Either you stop it or we're done. Okay. Questions or we're okay. done. Okay, here is the question. Okay. 2,000 years ago, a guy called Christ gets killed. The and son of God was killed by the Jews. I'm asking you a question. Well, ask it right. We're finished with no, you no, no. because you the have no right. And this is the, folly. The women, We're the answering women a man according grinding. to his folly. You need to leave the building now. That's the answer. You're just wrong. You're just wrong. He's the son of God. Shut up. Every step it wasn't of Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Sometimes it's hard for a human being to study the ear or study the eye and think that happened by accident. I beg your pardon, did you say by accident? Yeah. What do you mean by accident? That the eye just formed itself somehow. And who says it did? Well, some evolutionists say it. Not a single one that I've ever met. Really? Really. In the absence of a conscious entity, the moon remains a radically ambiguous and ceaselessly flowing quantum soup. Deepak, that is... That, that, you have to have a conscious being. The moon? Well, done is I invite theoretical they... physicists in this audience to actually address these oh, questions. Okay. Uh, Leonard Mladeno, I'm a theoretical physicist. Would you like to have a short course in quantum mechanics sometime so that we can straighten out your slightly misuse of quantum notation? Why do you want to even want to associate with a moron like Ray Comfort? I don't understand. <laughs> well, he believes in Jesus Christ, you know, the Savior of the world. And what you see, this I mean, I know you don't like Ray Comfort, but, you know, I mean, the building doesn't come about just magically, you know? It has a builder. A building and, and a builder, the, yes. Right. And okay. the same way the human body, with its complexities. And are you, are you a scientist, or what are you? I'm a biologist. A biologist, okay. So, you would understand that, how complex just a cell in general is, right? 
So you're saying if the world is trillions of years old and through yes. multiple chances. Four and a half billion. Four and a half, okay, four and a half billion. Okay. And where do we come up with that? You can't just create time of from a star, from the light of a star to reach us like that. I mean, we have to be able to you know, be able to test it and say, it's this far away, it would take this many light years to get there. Well, he knows that, he created it. He cre that's the mysteries of God, that's the wonderment of God. I mean, I, I, yeah, I, I understand that you're not gonna believe me and I'm, I'm not gonna believe what you're gonna say. I mean, right. but, yeah, but there's, there's a good reason for that and that's that you're an ignorant fool and I'm mm -hmm. educated so. Silence works, bitches.